All right, guys, it's Monday, so you know what that means. It's another Cherry visit. So going to go through their value boxes again. We're getting very close to the NFL season, so going to be looking through any other NFL boxes that I can see. Going to try and see some other sports like NBA. I also see they've got a miscellaneous uh, sort of box as well. Just try something out a little bit different because I've just been so NFL-focused. Uh, but yeah, it's hard not to when the NFL season is coming up. So yeah, come along today for the journey. I also touch wood shouldn't be as shaky as I was in the last cherry video haven't had coffee i've also, I've also eaten uh but yeah so hopefully don't have the caffeine shakes when i'm uh, holding up the cards i think a few people were worried about me but yeah i've actually eaten this time and i'm not drinking any coffee for today all right let's get started so first up ray lewis legendary defensive player for the baltimore ravens plates and patches numbered uh these were five dollars anything in top loaders will be five dollars anything not in a top loader is a dollar next up Peyton manning uh i couldn't find comps when i was actually looking uh, for this card, but saw comps afterwards, and I pretty much paid the same price for the card itself, so $5, but yeah, refracted for one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, I'll take it. Brett Favre, uh, this is the Prism Insert Hall of Fame Silver, I did put this one back. Next up, Jerry Tillery, the next few cards I actually did put back, uh, but ticket stub autographs, uh, I really like a lot, but yeah, just not notable players for $5. Drew Sample as well. If you guys are enjoying this sort of content, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also leave a comment of what your favorite pickup is. I'm trying to put these out as constantly as I can. Uh, next up, Jake Dollar Gala. I did put this one back, but yeah, seeing contenders. Iconic, obviously, set when it comes to the NFL, and I see quarterback, but it wasn't too notable of a player. Irv Smith Jr., triple patch. Some of It's a little bit of patch in there. <laughs> Don't know if you can count it, but uh, yeah, XR, triple patch, $5 for it. A little bit more of a prospecting play, because I know if some people are high on him. Uh, dual Spectra jersey card here of Joey Bosa and Hunter Henry. Joey Bosa, one of the best defensive players in the league at the moment. Hunter Henry, not, not so much, but Joey Bosa, yeah, really good player. Cole Komet, I think a lot of people are high on him, just being, uh, you know, paired with Justin Fields. You know, if Justin Fields, if the quarterback's being hyped up, uh, you got to look at all the players that are attached to him. Your Darnell Mooney, your DJ Moores, your Cole Komet. But yeah, for me personally, uh, I didn't actually buy the card. Also put this one back, but these silver prisms are very short printed. One per hobby box. Not a notable player. Uh, Spectra, Tiki Barber. I know he was a notable running back uh, in the 2000s or 2010s, but this one's actually jersey numbered. So 21 out of 99. I'm very happy with this buy. Uh, I think jersey numbers always, uh, jersey numbered cards always hold a premium. Uh, Johnny Manziel, Money Manziel. If you haven't seen the documentary on Netflix, I highly suggest you watch it. I actually think it left out a few things, uh, which is pretty crazy because a lot of the stuff that was in it was uh, still pretty nuts. Marcus Mariota. I probably would have got this card last year when he was starting for the Falcons, but put this one back just because uh, he's not starting anymore. Cooper Rush, I know he started a few games last season when Dak Prescott was out, but didn't get this card. Next up, Jermaine Gresham. Not going to lie, I don't know who this is, but I looked at the back and saw he was a two-time pro bowler. Uh, and then seeing a jumbo immaculate jersey, I thought, $5, potentially not a bad buy, but who knows if I'm right there. Uh, Arian Foster, he was a Houston Texans uh, running back. Very, very good player for us. I do remember him when I was sort of getting into the NFL. I think that was actually one of my better buys for $5. Uh, dual autograph card here. I actually put this one back, but yeah, for $5 I thought about it. But maybe next time, I just don't know any of the plays on it, so I didn't think it was worth it. Uh, quad jersey here. What is this? Tops Prime, I think is the set. Uh, but yeah, not really any notable players here. Obviously, Sam Bradford, at former number one pick. I'll put this one back. Uh, Champ Bailey, Canton Kings, Don Russ, Jersey. These aren't game-worn, but it says they are player-worn. So yeah, at $5, I thought, why not chuck it into the eBay store? Uh, Curtis Martin, i got a couple more of this exact set. But Curtis Martin, New York Jets, $5 for this one. As you can see through the comp then, actually not a bad buy. Uh, and then Steven Atwater, I think is how you say his last name. Um, this one's also a very solid buy, considering the comp uh, shown, going for around $12 to $13 Aussie. Yeah, just over double uh, in terms of my outlay, in terms of the card itself. Next up, I put this one back, but Randy Moss catching fire, Phoenix into out of $199. i have said in previous videos before, Phoenix is one of my 
most slept on slate in terms of their inserts. Uh, next up, Leonard Williams, defensive player for the Jets. I don't know too much about him. I've heard his name being thrown around, but I didn't think it was worth the risk uh, at $5. So, yeah, put this one back. Uh, next up, Warren Sapp. This is a card I was sort of 50-50 on, but, yeah, put this one back as well. Game used jersey. Played for the Bucks uh, in the 2000s and a really good defensive player. Uh, Michael Vick, again, why, why, why I said I love um, Phoenix, I love the inserts, they're quite colourful, but out of 125, a dollar for this one for a very iconic sort of player, probably didn't end his career in the best way, uh, Emmett Smith, numbered, Chronicles, out of 199, I'll take that for a Hall of Famer who plays for one of the best, or the biggest fan bases, not the best, uh, Christian Watson, Optic Contenders rookie ticket, a uh, dollar for this one, Going into $20 Aussie, I think, is a huge, huge find. Tariq Woolen, uh, he played very well last season. Cornerback for the Seahawks. Uh, was one of the best rookies last season, actually, from what I gather. Uh, time to give some love to the offensive lineman, but David Andrews, unparalleled. Uh, for a dollar for this one, I don't know too much about it, especially the parallel itself, the Mega Moon Lava. But yeah, I think for a dollar, uh, I thought it was not a bad purchase. This one I did put back, Curtis Samuel. I think he's a wide receiver for the Commanders. Did think about it, but every rookie in that season was a silver, so put that one back. Uh, numbered out of 175, Tim Brown. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to pay a dollar for you know these these sorts of players, uh, especially if they're numbered as well. I think it's all, an automatic buy, pretty much. Next up, a set that prop a lot of people don't like, but absolute uh, gridiron force. I don't mind this one for a dollar, but yeah, for Joe Green, uh, out of a hundred, uh, I'll buy that one and chuck it onto the eBay store. Very very nice buy here, but PJ Walker, he just got released by the Bears, funnily enough, but. Uh, he, this is his only rookie card, and it's a quarterback. He played in the XFL, did very well, has been a backup quarterback at a few teams right now, but dollar for this one being his only rookie card, it will be a very good flip there for around $20. Uh, Lawrence Taylor, numbered insert from uh, Absolute, uh, and Johnny Unitas as well, another one. Actually, this is certified. My bad here, but yeah, numbered certified, uh, numbered card of a Hall of Famer, I'll take. Cooper Rush, another duplicate I found. Uh, I'm happy to pay that one, just being a quarterback again. Quarterbacks that I know that play for big teams, uh, I'll pay the dollar for. Paxton, Lynch, numbered select. This one may be a bit of a waste, but can you really waste a dollar on a numbered card? But yeah, still a quarterback for the Broncos. He's not on the Broncos anymore, and I don't even think he's in the NFL anymore, but who knows, he might come back and have that opportunity again. Uh, Devin Bush the second. I'm pretty sure he's on the Seahawks. Don't quote me on that, but he played well his rookie season, then he did his ACL. Jordan Brooks, uh, I do have a person who buys off me who's a Seahawks collector, and I know he PCs Jordan Brooks, so hopefully this is just an easy sell to him. Uh, defensive player for the Seahawks, don't know too much about him. Terry McLaurin, one of the most slept-on wide receivers in the NFL. This one's a great buy at a dollar, but an, an XR insert out of 149. I think he'll have a great season with a hopefully a more consistent quarterback in Sam Howell, but I don't think so. Uh, Terrace Marshall, uh, I think there's a lot of a little bit of hype uh, on him being a you know having an increased role at the Carolina Panthers with Bryce Young, uh, j certified jersey out of 399 uh, for a dollar. Pat Frymuth, a very solid tight end for the Steelers. Black, gold, uh, select die card. This is color match, and I thought it's a very pretty card. So, yeah, got that one as well. Next up, Ed Oliver. I know he was a high draft pick. Uh, being a defensive player on the Bills, hopefully gets a little bit of shine if they're one of the best teams in the NFL. Next up, Russell Wilson. A lot of people, a player that is dividing a lot of people, but I think he will make a solid comeback in terms of his play this season for the Broncos. Better coaching uh, there this season with Sean Payton. I actually heard about this card from American Arbitrage Cards. Uh, he does this sort of content as well, but the phone cards, uh, it, got, it got you $2 worth of calls in the 90s. I just thought it's a very unique card, and uh, for a dollar, I don't really care about the price. I just think it's, it's quite uh, something that I would ha love to have in my collection. Chase Young, one of the best rookies in his rookie class in his first season, but then obviously did his ACL. I hope he makes a great comeback. He's a very good play for the Commanders, uh, and yeah, they were really good when he was playing great. One of the better buyers I bought, Patrick Mahomes. Need I say more, but still, numbered classics. A dollar for this one, translates to around 18 to $19 Aussie. Yeah, numbered Patrick Mahomes. You'll take that any day of the week for a dollar. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, score, draft, very low-end set, but obviously if Trevor Lawrence does well, these are the sort of cards that will go up. C.D. Lamb, a lot of people, I've seen some people forecasting him to be, you know, the, the highest receiving yards for 
the NFL. Not sure if I would agree with that, but yeah, you've got Dak Prescott throwing it to him. So uh, we'll see. I still believe in Justin Jefferson. Again, this is probably one of the best cards that I've purchased. Rashad Penny. These cards were one silver per hobby box. And it doesn't matter if it was a rookie or if it was uh, a veteran. You only got one of these per hobby box. So Rashad Penny, not one of the best running backs in the comp or, or in, in the NFL, but still very hard card, hard card to find. Uh, Dante Culpepper out of 75 field level. A dollar for this one. Uh, I do like it a lot. I don't know too much about him, but I know he was a notable quarterback around the 2000s. Uh, moving on to the next card, Trevor Lawrence, absolute introductions, low end set, but like I was saying before, if Trevor Lawrence pops off like everyone says he is, these are the sort of cards that will, you know, not go up 10 times, but maybe go from a dollar to, you know, four to five dollars. James Harrison, this is the, the set from, uh, this is the year from Select where it didn't go into retail, but field level. Hall of Fame uh, defensive player, known for his workout videos. I used to see him all the time on my Facebook or my Instagram. Paris Campbell, Red Phoenix. He's on the Giants now, so Daniel Jones throwing to him a dollar. Uh, I'm not expecting much, but if he performs like everyone says he's going to play, then yeah, for a dollar, it's a solid buy. Steve Smith, numbered gold tops out of 2010, I think. If I go to the back, no, 2011. Got that wrong. But yeah, Steve Smith, numbered to 2011. For a dollar, New York Giants, uh, wide receiver. And then I found another one of these that I found in my previous video, but Miles Garrett, optic contenders, ticket, the base. One of the best defensive players in the NFL. Uh, for a dollar, for this one who has limited rookie cards, uh, I'll take it. And I think he's due for another big season for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Scott Chandler, I wasn't too sure about this player, but I did buy it, but $5 for this. I did some research and I was like, oh, and I just ended up buying it. Um, Ryan Kerrigan, defensive player for the Commanders. Uh, he made a couple of Pro Bowls, but a rookie card. I mean, it goes from $5 into $14 to $15. So I think that's a, very, a, a nice buy. Uh, and Calais Campbell, uh, this is uh, Upper Deck Draft Edition. Um, yeah, it's not a big sort of flip, but I'm happy to pay the $5 for this one. Righto, so another two hours spent at Cherry. Had a great time as always. Uh, I did promise to go through some other boxes, but I just kept it to the NFL because um, that's the sport I'm really getting into and I enjoy going through those cards. More than NBA, I did go through some of the miscellaneous stuff uh, and that stuff I've got zero knowledge about. Ended up spending $100. Uh, I think it was $104 total, but then he rounded it down to $100. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, missed out on the Afterpay Day sale, which ran from Thursday to Sunday. Uh, that was 20% off, so you can imagine, could have got all my cards for $80 uh, had I come in on the Thursday, Friday, or the Saturday. But again, I don't, I work on those days. Those, that's actually my main working days, so uh, yeah, I missed out there. As always, guys, I'll try and post these ones a little bit more regularly. Uh, I'm gonna have to take maybe a, th a three to four week break from Cherry because uh, I've gone through pr pretty much all the NFL cards that I want to go through and the NBA stuff doesn't really appeal to me but maybe into the NBA season I'll go through it a little bit more so as always if you enjoyed the content hit the like and subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys on future videos take care